Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Webinar Tuesdays. My name is Mary Jo Williams, and I'll be your moderator for today's webinar. Uh, for those of you that are new to the SBDC, the Virgin Islands Small Business Development Center is a joint venture arrangement between the U.S. Small Business Administration and the University of the Virgin Islands. And as such, what we do is we provide technical assistance for people that are thinking about going into business, people that are in business, and people that are in business and want to go out of business. So anywhere along that continuum, the Virgin Islands Small Business Development Center stands ready, willing, and able to, to assist you. We have offices on St. Thomas and St. Croix. Our office in St. Croix is located in Peter's Rest next to Sprint. And our office in St. Thomas is located on the second floor of Niski Center. We are open virtually. We take phone calls and emails and we are currently not open for foot traffic. So if you need to see us, give us a call at the numbers that are on your screen. Uh, check us out on the website or send us an email at info at visbdc.org. And we'll put that down in the chat for you. Now, the reason that you all are here is for our seminar, Financial Survival During COVID-19. I'd like to give you a little bit of a background of our presenter today, Ms. Oren C. Roebuck. Ms. Roebuck is a Senior Vice President and Regional Manager of Banco Popular de Puerto Rico. Virgin Islands region. In this capacity, Ms. Roebuck has oversight responsibility for the bank's Virgin Islands portfolio to include all commercial credit, consumer credit, administration, and retail operations in both the U.S. Virgin Islands and the British Virgin Islands. Ms. Roebuck has worked with Popular for over 18 years and also has served, as the, served the bank as a human resources manager. The region operations manager and region manager for operations administration. She manages a, an asset portfolio of approximately one billion, that's billion with a B, dollars. Banco Popular Virgin Islands is a division of Banco Popular de Puerto Rico, the main subsidiary of Popular Inc., which is the largest Hispanic owned bank and the 40th largest bank by assets within the United States. Ms. Roebuck graduated from Rutgers University with a Bachelor of Science degree in Labor Relations and obtained her Master of Business Administration and Finance from the University of the Virgin Islands. Prior to her employment with Popular, Ms. Roebuck was the Chief Labor Negotiator for the Government of the Virgin Islands from 1995 to 1998. She is distinguished as the youngest person to be appointed to the Governor's Cabinet, having received confirmation by the Senate in this role at the age of 26. Oren has worked with the Department of Human Services and the Department of Labor, serving over 10 years within the Virgin Islands government. Under Oren's leadership, Popular expanded its retail services to Fredericksted St. Croix and Cruz Bay St. John. She has also been key in strengthening the bank's partnership with the Virgin Islands Housing Finance Authority to increase financing opportunities for moderate income homeowners and the U.S. Small Business Administration's Emerging Leaders Program. Oren is passionate and committed to providing and sound financial options to foster economic development and investment in the Virgin Islands. Ms. Roebuck is also deeply passionate about serving her community. She is the president of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Mu Gamma Omega Chapter, and treasurer of the Virgin Islands Bankers Association. However, her biggest reward comes from serving the youth of our community. Lauren is an assistant scoutmaster with the Boy Scouts of America Troop 7227, president of the St. Croix Junior Bowlers Federation, and vice president of Junior Achievement Virgin Islands. Lauren also serves on the board of trustees of the University of the Virgin Islands. She resides in St. Croix with her two children. Now, I am extremely happy that Ms. Roebuck is our presenter today because as busy as her schedule is, I don't know how she managed to squeeze us in, but for that, we're eternally grateful. So without any further delay, I'll allow Ms. Roebuck to go ahead and start her presentation. 
Ms. Roebuck. Good morning, all. Thank you so much for the introduction, Mary Jo. And thank you to the SBDC for providing this webinar Tuesday and opportunity to provide continued financial education to our community, in particular, our small business. Uh, Banco Popular, we are very proud to be a part of this venture. And I'm always happy to share and answer questions for our small business community. I'd like to leave time for as many questions as possible. So I'll keep my presentation brief and I'll focus on areas of available resources within uh, our financial institution and how to protect your credit during this COVID-19. I represent Popular, which holds the largest commercial portfolio within the Virgin Islands. However, I'm also a member of the Virgin Islands Bankers Association. And we understand that the COVID-19 pandemic has both a health and a very significant economic consequence for our community. So to assist our clients who are experiencing financial situations during this period, Popular, as well as other banks, have implemented some emergency assistance programs to provide relief. To assist our clients experiencing financial situations during this crisis, we provide various benefits to reduce costs, provide additional options to meet your financial needs remotely, and provide the opportunity for financial support. We are waiving fees at our ATMs, online services, and our late fees. Our ATM fees are being waived for both customers and non-customers. Our payment options and solutions are available online, by phone, at our ATMs, and we've expanded our online portal, portal to accept more transactions. We also implemented some deferred payment and moratorium options and access to emergency credit. To reach any of our representatives during this period and that can provide financial assistance to you, you can contact us online at popular, www.popular.com or we have set up a specific uh, access number, 1-888-724-3655. In the US Virgin Islands, you can also reach us at 340 693-2752, and we do have local representatives available until 8 p.m., or in the BVI at 284-852-2642. Again, representatives are available until 8 p.m. Our local representatives, if you want to contact our 888 number, we have representatives available 24-7 that can process your applications for deferment, moratorium, or other features. Just so you're aware of some of the special conditions for our payment deferments, all deferment and moratoriums are not applied automatically. Unlike after Hurricane Marilyn and Irma, where we gave an across the board forbearance that is not happening for the COVID-19 as we have various situations experienced by our customers. So if you want to take advantage of any of our deferred payments or special solutions, please do contact the bank to request an application. Our deferment of payments are only available for four months. You can continue to make payments during the period of deferment and it will not alter the condition of the deferment. So if you do receive your stimulus check or an unemployment check and you wish to make a payment, but you're not sure if you'll be able to continue those payments throughout the remainder of the year, please do contact the representative, apply for the defermental moratorium and it will be applied as requested and you can still make a payment. 
interest will continue to accrue during your period of forbearance. And if you have more than one product with the bank, you will need to make an application for each product. So if you have a credit card, a personal loan, or a mortgage, you will need to apply for deferment of each of those payments. The bank will continue to re make reports to the credit bureaus as required by federal law. However, a special COVID-19 code will be applied. During this time when we are all experiencing significant changes, it's important that you protect your credit. We have access to our credit relief programs but they are not being made automatically. Again, you do need to contact the financial institution to request these credits and for which product. We have had clients that are requesting a deferment for their mortgage loan, but they're still able to make payments on their credit card. So we are considering each customer separately and individual according to your needs. Minimal information is required to apply for these credits. You do not need to give uh, specifics on your financial hardship, only to indicate that you are suffering a financial hardship during this period of COVID-19. We have several COVID-19 relief options for businesses. The SBA Paycheck Protection Program is probably the most widely known. This allows you to uh, receive payment to support your, I'm sorry, support your payroll for a period of eight weeks. The deadline to extend, it has been extended for until August 8, 2020, which is this week. You can apply for our SBA Paycheck Protection Program by again, visiting www.popular.com and click on the icon for COVID-19 relief options. Individuals that have already received payment disbursement under the SBA Paycheck Protection Program can apply for forgiveness through our online portal beginning August 10th, 2020. I will encourage all individuals to first go onto SBA's website and review the options for forgiveness before accessing the portal. The portal will be open August 10th. We've extended our online services for cash management, collections, electric fund, fund transfer payments, remote deposit, and night depository services. Businesses can access these services by calling our business banking service at 1-855-756-3939. Even if you're not currently a business banking customer, you can call and access and enroll through our uh, toll-free number. We also have options for emergency credit. We do not process the SBA emergency uh, loans. Those will have to be applied directly from SBA. However, we do have options for in-house emergency credit. And again, you can access them through our business banking center at 1-855-756-3939. Popular is ready to help you and your business through this crisis. We also would like to encourage you to be safe. During this period, the less interaction you can have in a public space is the safest place to be. So please take advantage of our alternative delivery channels. Deposit your check using our easy remote deposit. Simply take a picture of the check back and front through our MeBanko app and deposit that check. You can also use our ATMs and our drive throughs Our drive through service, we've expanded service on St. Croix. Our Sunny As drive through now offers four lanes of service. Located at the back of Sunny Isles, we have our drive through service open and available to you Monday through Saturday from 8 to, to 3 p.m.
I will now be available to answer any questions that maybe our community may have. You could raise your hand if you have any questions. Do we have any questions on the chat? All right, so while questions are being considered, I do see that Ted is on the chat with us. Is there any information you would like to offer, Ted? Ted, you're on mute. I'm not sure if you're speaking. I think he stepped away from the okay. computer for a moment. Um, Okay, we do have a question. The question is, does the taking the picture of the check functionality work for business accounts? We do have a remote deposit feature for our business accounts. And yes, it does work uh, for small business as well as for larger businesses. We would uh, need to install a scanner so that you can scan your checks as it may be too much for uh, the easy deposit feature, but it is available for businesses. Thank you. You have a question? So the question again is how does a small business access the feature? Uh, again, you will need to have the app, the Banco Popular app, and your account will need, your small business account will need to be linked to that app in order to access the Easy Deposit Mobile. Once you go on, the icon should be available to you. And the app is available in the App Store. Thank you very much for the question. Do we have another question? Okay, the name of the app is uh, Popular VI. Let me just make sure of that. Mi Banco, I'm sorry, Mi Banco and VI. When you go into the App Store, and let me look for my app store just to be sure. Okay, so when you go into the app store, you can search Mi Banco, M I Banco, and it does come up Mi Banco Mobile. And you will see the logo, the Banco Popular Puerto Rico logo in uh, icon is visible and you can simply select that. Okay, while we're waiting for another question, I'm gonna put up a poll question and you'll have 30 seconds as an audience to answer. And the question is, how did you hear about this VIC webinar today? Just click the answers on your computer. Unfortunately, the people watching us via Facebook will not see the poll question, but the question is, 
how did you hear about the VISBDC webinar today? Okay, the poll will be ending now. I'm not sure if the people on Facebook heard that the question is, how do you how did you hear about the VI SBDC webinar today? And 100% of the people heard about the webinar via an email. That's awesome. That is very good. Okay. And the next question, yeah. are you in business? And that's a yes or no. Okay, and that poll is coming at you right now. That's a really hard question to answer. And in terms of our poll, 60% of the people that are listening in today's webinar are in business, Ms. Roebuck. So hopefully they're all currently Banco customers or they will hopefully soon be Banco customers. And last but not least, we'll give you one more webinar, one more poll question, I think. I apologize, we're having some technical challenges this morning with the computer, so I don't have any more questions. Um, so does anybody else in the audience have a question? Um, yes, this is Greg Kopach. I am a business counselor in St. Croix. I have been with the SBDC for two years and two months now. <laughs> and here is my question. Um, I'm looking back at the 2008 recession. The last time during that crisis, um, banks were actually perceived to be a part of the problem. This time around, with COVID-19, banks seem to be central to the solution. Yes. Um, I mean, there's lots and lots, as we well know, there's lots going on. Um, financial markets, uh, everything from... from, from uh, the financial markets to small business liquidity issues. Here's the question is we deal with business clients who have had to abruptly change their operating plan. They've had to just do everything from, you know, sell what is not bringing them revenue for cash to, you know, unfortunately to lay off people. What in the banking industry, and specifically with Banco Popular, in the short term, what have you all done to, to make that adjustment? How, have, how has your operating uh, plan changed dramatically as you see in your online transactions? Lobbies have been closed and opened and closed. Uh, can you just tell us a little bit about what what we're what we've done locally to address the the restrictions of COVID-19 and the necessity 
to exchange money during this difficult state of health emergency. Thank you. So COVID-19 has been truly a learning environment, a very unexpected environment. And we have had, like many other business, had to change our business model, change our budgets, change our operations in a very short term period. Uh, first and foremost was, is the protection of our staff. Here in the Virgin Islands, we employ over 200 employees. Uh, within the organization, we employ over 7,000 employees. And so we have to consider that our employees, while we do provide a central service, are also a concern for their health, are scared to operate in this environment. And so we've had to deal with how do we balance that? How do we continue our service to our community and maintain the confidence of our teams? We have adjusted, as you said, our business hours. We, and those have been adjusted more to, to channel our delivery to online services, to telephone services, ATM, to our drive through Currently, our branch lobbies are operating from 8 to 1 p.m. And then we continue service until 3 p.m. through our drive throughs to encourage our, our client base to think about banking differently. Um, internally, we have a large number of staff that are working at home and we have had to supply a large quantity, over 5,000 uh, laptop computers with the capability to access our systems remotely. This taught us that we can do a lot more remotely and we are actually downsizing our footprint in some of our back offices, consolidating some of our back offices. Our expenses have shifted to more technology and less real estate. So we too have had to make tremendous changes in how we operate and how we focus and what our budget looks like as far as, far as resources. Thank you for that question, Mr. Greg, and thank you for that answer, Ms. Robust. Thank you. For those of you that are looking for our next event um, tomorrow in collaboration with the Virgin Islands Economic Development Authority and the Disability Rights Center of the Virgin Islands, uh, we're presenting the Celebrating the ADA, Creating Disability Employment Policies. This seminar was supposed to happen last week, Thursday, but that little um, bit of tropical mm, stuff, Isaiah's caused us to move it to this week because July was a 30th celebration of the Americans with Disabilities Act. And then next week, Tuesday, we have strategic planning, the keys to success. And the Tuesday after that, we have the U.S. Economic Development Bank doing a presentation. Now you can, uh, you can access all of our programs on our Facebook page, on our web page, and you can also sign up for the Virgin Islands BizBuzz so that you get a monthly update in terms of what's happening in the territory. And, oops, I forgot to share that poll. Are you in business? And 40% of the people are not in business and 60% are. Well, that's good. And I have one last poll question. And that might also help the SBDC to know where the people are that we need to be working with, but it also might give uh, Banco some insight in terms of where their customers are coming from. But I don't, yeah. And I don't think we're gonna need the whole 30 seconds for this poll. And of our poll, 50% of the people are on St. Croix and 50% are on 
oops, no, it changed. 56% are in St. Croix and 44% are in St. Thomas. So that's where our people are this morning, Ms. Roebuck. Yeah. Okay. All welcome. Okay. And I want to thank Amy Herrick for ch sharing some of the ways that she's adapted to this new environment from uh, using Dropbox and other features to ensure that she's able to connect with her clients. Uh, Zoom meetings, priority mail, drop files, all very good tools to continue to operate. Thank you, Amy, for sharing those ideas with us. Very good. And again, I want to emphasize the Paycheck Protection Program is still open. There is still funds available. And uh, the application is actually very simple. I think some people have not applied or delayed applying because they weren't sure what information is needed. It is really a one-page document. Your information, your mailing address, uh, contact information, and the calculation of the payroll period you're trying to cover. So it's a very simple calculation. It's a very simple applications and funds are available. And our portal at Banco Popular will remain open until this Saturday, which is August 8th. And then it will be closed out and we will move to processing of the forgiveness plan under the payroll protection. Also the economic injury disaster loan. Again, it's a very simple application process. It is all online and I do encourage uh, our business community to take advantage of these tools. It's not often that you have an opportunity for uh, credit assistance at 1% interest over a 30 year period. So uh, do take advantage of the opportunities that are available. And for those of you that haven't applied as yet, I put the link to the popular PPP loan application in the chat. And for people, and a lot of people are still confused about the PPP. If you are, if you receive a 1099 for your income, if you're self-employed with no employees, if you're a sole proprietor with or without employees, you are all eligible to apply for the PPP loan program. That could be a forgiven loan if you use the funds as they're designed, which is mainly to pay payroll. The popular link is in the chat. The popular portal will remain open through Saturday. It's really an easy application to do. And I encourage you if you haven't already applied to apply, if you know people that fall in any of those categories that traditionally aren't eligible for quote government assistance, tell them to apply. This is probably going to be the easiest application they'll ever have to fill out in order to get monies that have the possibilities of not having to be repaid. Correct. Okay, Ms. Roebuck, it Thank looks you. like we are finished for today. I really, really, really appreciate your time. And I think I might've been intimidated not to ask you to be a presenter if I'd known all of the things that you were involved in. But they say, if you want something done, ask a busy person. And for one of the busiest people in the Virgin Islands, it's Oren Roebuck on behalf of the Virgin Islands Small Business Development Center, uh, staff and management. We want to thank you for your presentation. We did have some technical challenges with the presentation, so we will upload our recording on Facebook later because the Facebook Live wasn't live for the whole time. So if anybody missed today's presentation, you will be able to see it on our Facebook page shortly. And with that, Ms. Roebuck, can you forward to the last slide, please? 
Here we go. Can you share it? Oh, <laughs> thank you for attending our webinar Tuesday uh, financial survival presentation. And our telephone numbers for the telephone numbers for the SBDC are for St. Croix and St. Thomas are there as well as the website. We want to thank everyone for coming and sharing with us. Thank you, Mary Jo, for having me. Thank you. With that, folks, have a great rest of the day, and we'll see you next week for Webinar Tuesday. Take care. Thank you.